from the Zayn Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zayn Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zayn Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's international inter-university question and answer championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture, and indeed more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time once again for the introductions in this round two game. Entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kenya. Julius Mungai, second year, law student from Kipuyu. Piran Jyoti, first year law, Nairobi. Mohamed Boru, a third year social science student from Nairobi. And from my left, it's the Zayn Scholars team from the Uganda Martyrs University. Nathan Mulindwa, third year, business administration and management, Kampala. Ronaldo Chuka, second year, business administration, Arua. Moses Rudende, second year, economics, Ujesra Rwanda. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional, and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zayn Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each, plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zayn. And if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zayn game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First, in center position for Uganda Martyrs University is Ronald. Ronald, what is your greatest inspiration? What inspires you? Well, I draw my inspiration from a goal I have, that is to make the world a better, a better place. As, as we have seen from the global financial crisis, we cannot live in isolation. I mean, it started in America, it's affecting Africa, South America, down to the, vi the village person in Uganda. And I think if we looked at ourselves more and we tried to evaluate how our actions can affect other people, I think the world would be a much better place to live in. Good luck to you in your endeavors. Julius, from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, future plans? My future plans are dictated by the current status of the world human rights record as it is. I am very much appalled and um, saddened by the trampling of rights of people who are not able to cater for their own rights as far as legal, legal access to aid is concerned. Therefore, my future plans is to pro bono human rights uh, legal advice to anyone who you know, wants them. Uh, and if that means spending a few nights in jail, why not? Well, you can make a choice for your team for pro bono as well. You won the toss earlier on. Let's take the Zane Africa Challenge. Have a look at our first four categories. And they are current political events, hearing and sound, in so many words, pieces of eight. Julius, choice of category, please. Current political events. It is. In mid-2008, which East African country announced that its parliament will move to a town north of Lake Victoria? Kuwait. Uganda. That is correct. 
for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece, Gamal Mbarak and Karim Wade, a son's position to succeed their fathers as leaders of which two African nations? Egypt, yes. Senegal. Yes, for 20 points, bringing your total to 30. Julius, choice of category, please. Current political events. It is. Bizimungu Kagame Makuza, which current president of Rwanda has been widely credited with bringing stability to his country? Uganda Martyrs. Kagame. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, in 2008, nearly half of Rwanda's mineral exports was of cassiterite, the ore of which metal with a three-letter name? Pass. The correct answer is tin. Ronald, choice of category, please. Hearing and sound. It is Davy Newton Watt, which great English scientist first analytically estimated the speed of sound in his Principia Mathematica? Uganda Martyrs. Newton. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Air, steel, vacuum, water. In which medium, one, does sound travel fastest? Steel. About. Sorry. Steel is correct. Does sound not travel at all? Water. The correct answer is vacuum. You have 10 points, bringing your total to 30. Same as Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Ronald, choice of category, please. Current political events. It is. In 2008, the king of which North African nation surpassed Queen Elizabeth II in the list of the world's richest monarchs? Uganda Martyrs. Morocco. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Name the famous political family of these current government officials. Kenya. One, Uhuru, Kenya's deputy yeah. prime minister. Kenyatta. Two, Samir, elected MP in Ghana in 2008. Nkrumah. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 60. Ronald, choice of category, Hearing please. Hearing and sound. It is. Waves at frequencies beyond the range of human hearing are described by which U word? Queer. Ultra frequency. Yes. For 20 bonus points, 200, 2000, 20,000. Which frequency in hertz is nearest the normal upper limit of human hearing? 2000. No, the correct answer is 20,000 hertz. Julius, choice of category, please. Pieces of eight. It is. Coins, ivory, spices. In the Spanish Empire, pieces of eight referred to which commodity? Queer. Ivory. No, I'm turning it over to Uganda Martyrs. Coins. Coins is correct. For 20 bonus points, which traditional imperial unit equal to one-eighth of a gallon is commonly used in pubs? A pint. That is correct. End of round one. The score stands at 40 points for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa against 90 points for Uganda Martyrs University. And now, a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Zane's CSR activities reach across Africa and impact all the markets it serves. Zane's primary focus is support of education through book donations, the setting up of computer labs, and the refurbishment and furnishing of classrooms. We promise you that we are going to utilize these computers to the fullest and we are going to contribute to the development of the society. Zane also empowers communities through projects which create safe water supplies, improve the ecology and environment by planting trees, and provide support in the critical health sector. Zane brought many items, many household items. I am proud to be identified with Zane. See our wonderful world. Zane, building our nation for a wonderful world. That was a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 40 points for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa against 90 points for Uganda Martyrs University. Two new players in centre position for Uganda Martyrs. We have Moses. Might I ask you for your dream travel destination, please? Thank you, John. I've always dreamt of going to the Bahamas, Nassau in particular, and I'd love to scuba dive with the stingrays. It's 
so beautiful with the coral, the setting, it's just amazing. A man of romantic vision. Peter, from Catholic University of Eastern Africa, might you offer us a solution to one of the world's major problems? Uh, the predominant problem at this time is the global economic crunch. And I believe that was initiated by the subprime mortgage crisis, which precipitated a banking crisis. And what subsisted the crisis was that the markets are so concentrated in uh, the United States and Europe. So I think if we spread out the markets a bit more, then when something like this hits us, we'd be able to cover it on more bases and that will lead us to a less tenuous situation than we have at present. Well, I'll be honest with you, Peter, I didn't understand your explanation, but I hope to understand your choice of category. Have a look at our four new categories and they are bad apples, chemical symbol spelling, inspired by Africa. Where am I? Where am I? It is. I am in an M city of northern Italy, home to the Italian Stock Exchange and the fashion designer Prada. Where am I? Queer. Milan. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which two Italian Serie A football clubs call Milan home? AC Milan and Inter Milan. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 70. Peter, choice of category, please. Where am I? Where am I? I am in the capital of a nation whose name ends in Stan, just like four of its neighbours. I am in Kabul. In which nation? Queer. Afghanistan. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Name the only two nations bordering Afghanistan whose names do not end in Stan. India and Iran. Iran for one, but the other is China. Bringing your total to 90 against Uganda martyrs, 90 equal. Peter, choice of category, please. Where am I? Where am I? I'm in the technology hotbed nicknamed Silicon Valley. In which western US state am I? Uganda Martyrs. California. Is correct. For 20 <coughs> bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, in which US city will you find the business center Wall Street? New York. That is correct. Two, in which European city will you find the bureaucratic center Whitehall? London. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 120. Moses, choice of category, please. Chemical symbol spelling. It is. These chemical symbols spell a brewed beverage, beryllium, erbium, Uganda Martyrs. Beer. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which other beverage is spelled by one, cobalt and lanthanum? Cola. That is correct. And two, tungsten, astatine and erbium. Water. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 150. Moses, choice of category, please. Chemical symbol spelling. It is. These chemical symbols spell a deadly disease. Radium, bismuth, Einsteinium, queer. Rabies. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which other disease is spelled by one? Fluorine, lutetium. Flu. That is correct. And two, tellurium, tantalum, nitrogen, uranium, sulfur. Tetanus. No, the correct answer is tetanus. Peter, choice of category, please. Where am I? Where am I? I am at the site of ancient Machu Picchu, known as the lost city of the Incas. On which continent am I? Uganda Martyrs. South America. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Peru. Machu Picchu is in which country on the Pacific coast between Ecuador and Chile? Peru. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 180 against Catholic University of Eastern Africa's 110. Moses, choice of category, please. Bad apples. Bad apples it is. Prince Vlad the Impaler may be the inspiration for which infamous blood-sucking vampire? Queer. Dracula. That is correct for 20 bonus points. Transjordan, Transylvania, Transalpine. Which is a region of Romania and the ancestral home of the fictional Count Dracula? Transylvania. That is correct for 20 points. End of round two. At the end of round two, the score stands at 140 points for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa against 180 for Uganda Martyrs University. We'll be back to take more of the Zain Africa Challenge. Stay with us after this break. Tonight we're going to answer the question, what are the world heritage sites and why are they important? In the 1950s, when the creation of Egypt's Lake Nasser threatened ancient temples at Abu Simbel, it became clear that some sites around the world have importance far beyond natural boundaries. They're a part of our global heritage and ought to be preserved and protected for all of us. 
Since the 1970s, UNESCO has been identifying these cultural and natural sites to aid their preservation. There are more than 800 World Heritage Sites, from natural ones such as Australia's Great Barrier Reef and Kenya's Lake Turkana, to cultural ones such as the Acropolis in Athens, Greece, and traditional Ashanti buildings near Kumasi in Ghana. So for all you future Zane Africa Challenge players, be sure to study up on World Heritage Sites. Email me with topics you'd like to know more about at mwalimu at zaneafricachallenge.com. Welcome back. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries, and indeed, all the participating universities themselves. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at 140 points for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa against 180 points for the Uganda Martyrs University. In center positions now, we have Nathan for Uganda Martyrs. You're a student of accounting and finance, Nathan. Future yeah. plans after university? Uh, I would like to see the microfinance situation of my country change. Uh, a lot of money is, is put in place for development programs, and uh, this money needs to go down to, to the grassroots so that it can, it can work its way up so that everyone can enjoy the, the profits of uh, a good economy. Again, an explanation that's over a bit, a bit over my head. However, I listen to what you're saying. Mohammed, Catholic University of Eastern Africa, I'm going to give you a choice of two role models. Yeah, uh, my role model in life would have to be my mom, simply because of all she's done for me. Uh, I couldn't be here today if it wasn't for my mom. Uh, I'd also like to offer the same for my kids. Career-wise, I'd go for Butros Gali, the former UN Secretary General. I aspire to be a diplomat simply because of the fact that he came from a minority background and rose to the highest diplomatic position. It's inspiring. I hope to do the same. Well, Mohammed, you have a diplomatic choice to make now in the choice of category. Your team is behind. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are a world of food and drink, animals, European history, the structures of government. Uh, the structures of government. It is. Kenya, Malawi, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia all share in their official names which are word reflecting their commitment to democracy. Queer. Republic. That is correct for 20 bonus points, five points apiece, and a five point bonus for all three. Yes or no? Are the following officially republics? Yes. One, Nigeria. No. Yes. Ghana. Yes. Yes. Sierra Leone. Yes. Yes. Yes, 10 points, giving you a total of 160 against Uganda Martyrs, 180. Mohammed, choice of category, please. European history. It is. The assassination of Archduke Francis Ferdinand started which 20th century global conflict? Queer. World War I. That is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. One, Francis Ferdinand was assassinated in Sarajevo, capital of which territory? Macedonia. No, the correct answer is Bosnia and Herzegovina. Two, he was heir to the throne of which empire? A hyphenation of two current European countries. Austro-Hungarian Empire. That is correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 180 equal to Uganda Martyrs. Mohammed, choice of category, please. European history. It is. Which French national heroine and Christian martyr was burnt at the stake in the city of Rouen in 1431? Queer. Uh, Helen? No, I'm turning it over to Uganda Martyrs. Joan. Yes, that is correct. The sound that means that you, Nathan, get to play the Zane Super Bonus for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, as you know, which today is musical instruments. Please take a look at your screen. For 10 points apiece, which of these African musical instruments is one, the Kora? D. That is correct. Two. The shekere. B. Yes. And three. The kalimba. C. No, the correct answer is A. But you do get 20 points, giving you a total of 210. 
Nathan, choice of category, please. The structures of government. It is. Which A word is a top government official assigned by a country to represent its interests in a foreign land? Kuwait. Ambassador. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Ambassadors and their staff are collectively known as which D Corps? A diplomatic. That is correct. Two. The building containing a country's highest level delegation to another country is called what? An embassy. That is correct for 20 points, giving you a total of 210 equal to Uganda Martyrs. Mohammed, choice of category, please. European history. European history it is. By which length of time do we know the European conflict lasting 116 years from 1337 to 1453? Queer. The Hundred Year War. That is correct. For 10 points apiece. The Hundred Years' War was principally fought by which two European nations? Britain and France. That is correct for 20 points. End of round three. In this seesaw game, the score now stands at 210 points for Uganda Martyrs against 240 for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zayn Airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, which Nigerian is the UN Special Envoy to the crisis-torn DRC? Is it A. Olusegun Ubasanjo, B. Umaru Yaradua, or C. Ibrahim Bambangida? SMS your answer to 33971. Choose A for Olusegun Ubasanjo, B. Umaru Yaradua or C. Ibrahim Bambangida. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 210 for Uganda Martyrs University against 240 for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. Uganda Martyrs, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are title characters, which nation, Adebayor, little rappers and big rappers. <coughs> little rappers, big rappers. It is. Take a deep breath. Which artist from around the world with a name containing little, little, or big? And seconds away, Antoine Patton, he recorded, yes. Was the bad boy born? Notorious B.I.G. Yes. Is the king of crunk with his east side boys? Lil John. Yes. Kenya's MC Africa champ? Big Pin. No. Haseb Tufik, called Big, is from which African nation? Uh, Algeria. No. Was little for Doggy Bag, but not for Unleashed. Lil Bow Wow. Yes. Is Angola's Deja Vu artiste big? Big Tim. No. Became famous from English TV rock school, Little Who? Caesar. No. Had a delicious hit with Two Shots Big? Big Boy. No. Recorded the 2005 album, The Naked Truth? Lil Flip. No. Kenya's MC Africa champ, big? Pass. Hazeb Tufik called Big Pass. is, is Angola. Became famous from English. Pass. Had a delicious hit with two shots big. Had a, Pass. Time's up. 
you answered four questions correctly for 200 points in the ultimate challenge, giving you a grand total of 410. Let's have a look at the ones you got wrong. Kenya's MC, Big Mike, has it to fact, Big is from Morocco. Angola's Deja Vu is Big Nello. Rock School is Little Chris. Delicious, Big Low. And finally, The Naked Truth, Little Kim. Catholic University of Eastern Africa, at this stage, you have 240 points. You're 170 points behind, and therefore you need four correct answers to emerge as outright winners today. Which of the three remaining categories might you choose? We go for Adebayo. Adebayo it is. Take a deep breath. Answer these questions related to the life and times of Emmanuel Adebayor. And seconds away, came to Monaco. Ask, Monaco. Yes. French club, did you Toulouse. Join? No. Which neighborhood lent its name to Arsenal's previous stadium? Tottenham. No. He was born the 26th February. 18, which 1981. No. Company's Tunit football boots does he promote? Nike. No. Which then co- Autofista. No. Adebayor was suspended in 2007 for a punch with whom? Terry. No. John Terry. Which Togo teammate plays for Aston Villa? Pass. Adebayor wears number 25 to honour this Nigerian. Kanu. Yes. He won the 2008 CAF Player of the Year over which second place vote getter? SCN. No. Which French club did he join in 2001? Love. No. Which neighbourhood lent its name to Arsenal's previous stadium? Ivory. Yes. He was born the 26th of February of which year? 1985. No. Which company's tunic football boost does he promote? Adidas. Yes. Which then coach of Togo... You answered four questions correctly in the ultimate challenge, giving you a total of 200 points. And with a grand total of 440 points, Catholic University of Eastern Africa is today's winner of the Zane Africa Challenge. Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. Joined FC Metz. Born in the year 1984. Clashed with Stephen Keshi. Keshi. Yeah. Punched Frank Lampard. And the Togo teammate is Mustafa Salifu. And finally, the second place vote getter was Mohamed Abutrika. Abutrika. Uganda Martyrs University, what do we need to say? A very close run thing. Well played. We have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 1,000 US dollars each plus $10,000 as an institutional grant for your university. Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Bongezi, Hongera, well done. Well won. We look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and, as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, it's the quarterfinals. The University of Ibadan, Nigeria, takes on Mbarara University, Uganda in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again from all of us here. It's bye-bye. Till next time.